Here at the Roundhouse in Santa Fe, many important laws go through. Recently, Representative Antonio Mo Maestas from the west side of Albuquerque introduced new legislation that would give students something to think about. It's a very important bill. It's House Bill 342, the Media Literacy Bill in middle schools and high schools. What it does is mandate that every middle school and every high school in the state of New Mexico offer as part of, it, part of uh, its uh, curriculum a media literacy course, a semester course in media literacy so that every single uh, teenager in New Mexico can take it as an elective. Representative Maestas wrote this legislation in part because teenagers on average consume about six to nine hours of media a day. When I suggest media, we're talking television, television commercials, internet, webcasts, billboards, magazines, radio, uh, imagery, and so this influences uh, what they think of the world, what they think of themselves. Media literacy courses will help them to better analyze, dissect, and interpret these media messages. Jean Grant is the host of KNME's weekly show, The Line, and has played several roles in the creation of media. He says the bill is a good idea and could even help parents. The problem is we've been in this place where we've talked about parental control, which has been obviously a big failure because parents can't always be there to screen what they watch with their kids, or even pre-screen, it's just not a possibility. Representative Maesta says that this bill will give teenagers the needed tools to make the right decisions about media when their parents can't be there. But we cannot change that. We cannot change the First Amendment. We cannot outlaw advertising or attempts to market certain products, but what we can do is train our young people uh, to be in a better position to analyze, interpret those messages, to be smarter consumers uh, and stronger human beings in the 21st century. As a media producing state in the 21st century, Jean Grant says that we have a responsibility to lead the way in media literacy. You know, we consider ourselves a creative movie making, television show making state. We're part of that machinery that puts out image, imagery um, that people have to, that kids have to wind through. Excuse me. And I think it would be it would serve us well to be part of that solution as well as part of part of the machinery that makes imagery. That, that I think that's a, an appropriate role for New Mexico. The bill has passed the Consumer Affairs Committee, and now it goes on to the Education Committee. After that, it will go on to the House. If successful there, it will go through to the Senate. Representative Maesta says that if they can get it to the governor's desk, he's confident the governor will sign it. Gene Grant says the bill should go through without a problem. I think this is a great project, and I think this is uh, a great bill, and I hope uh, the people in Santa Fe see the rightness of it. Uh, I don't see how it could be terribly controversial, you know what I mean? Like, what's the problem with doing this, right? I mean, there's no downside, it seems to me. For Campus Reports, this is Sarah Flores reporting.